John here guys and today we're talking about the new Hyperlite 45 amp ESC the one that we've all been waiting for that is devastating the competition check out this beautifully laid out ESC now what do you notice about it that's different from every other ESC that you've seen on the market until then this ESC also contains an F3 processor in addition to the beautiful FET layout here. Check out the size of these gigantic FETs. These are truly indeed Boba FETs. Yes, uh, we haven't seen FETs like this in a long time since the original Racer Star ESC, done, also done by Airbot. Um, now, the Hyper Pyro had a significant amount of input into the design of this uh, ESC right here that is absolutely devastating the competition. Um, if you check out Olaf's ESC testing on this thing, you'll be able to see just how powerful it is. And it seems to be able to be um, nearly indestructible. And we'll be putting that to the test on the racetrack. But I want to note a another few things. Look at how these motor pads are, are laid out. They're you know pushed out away from the center. Look how much room there is between these motor pads and your next row of components. Now that's a severe gripe um, about just about every other ESC out on the market is that they put the motor pads so close to other small components like you know diodes, capacitors, or even the FETs themselves that when you're soldering them up, you're just so worried that you're gonna get a blob of solder on one of those other micro components. This one has no worries about that whatsoever. And look at just how large your battery pads are that you're gonna be able to solder on. And you even have a bit of pad on the underside uh, for all of those involved. So if you ever messed up the top pad, you have a last resort. Now there's not enough room down here as on the top, but it's just nice to have that as a backup. Now, what else comes in the package? Well, you get some nice thick gauge wire that's plenty long in length. You get dual capacitors. These are the smaller ones. They are, I don't know, they're the small ones, guys. I can't read what's on there. They're 35 volt 680s. So you get these smaller 680, 35 volts. Um, two of them, you get an XT60 connector. Um, you get the blue gummies inside and you get the harness that connects directly to uh, the Hyperlight F4 OSD. No repinning necessary. Um, this is quite exciting indeed. And you also get a nice little color printout of the wiring diagram right there. Uh, so this is, this is it guys. This is the EAC we've all been waiting for for so long. It uh, looks to be extremely powerful, extremely easy to build up. Um, takes all the guesswork out of trying to figure out which harness you need to select. I know that when you bought the other Hyperlite F4 um, boards, it would come with three harnesses to try to accommodate all the ESCs on the market, and you'd have to kind of figure out which one. Or like on the furling edition, you'd have to repaint it yourself, which was a pain. And I just really love that it's made specifically for each other. It took us at a budget price. This thing comes in at only $50, putting it way less than the Speedix, than the Akon, than the Hobby Wing, and it looks to be better. It looks to be better. So let's do a few flights on this thing. Let's build it up. Let me show you what it looks like in a build right now. This is a sneak preview of the <laughs> Marmot, and I have it in there. You can see the little blue gummies down there, and look how much room that you have to solder your motor wires to. These pads are so large compared to your average ESC on the market, and I absolutely love that. I love that you have so much room. It makes the build so much easier, so much faster. And when you're going into a build, guys, anything that saves you any amount of time is very welcome.
Thank you.